r slash ask reddit created by routine reddit redditors who have tried to hide on your cruise when it ended so that you could stay on the ship for the next round how did that go very specific target audience everyone should upvote this to get this question answered i would bet a very few people have tried i would imagine the success rate is low so a limited pool or, a few people know the secrets of scoring free cruises and don't share. Either way, I want to hear the truth, and it'll probably come from a cruise line employee. Yes you'd probably just have to learn what they do to clean it and the routine. Find a spot not cleaned as often, and a way to just circle around the guy when they clean. Go to his next spot, and then sneak back when he done. You just need a cardboard box! Exclamation point. I heard this comment. This one weird trick got this man free cruises for life. Cruise directors hate him. You hide out, but soon realize where do I keep my suitcase. Stuck trying to find places to sleep, middle of the night trying to stay awake. Eventually get questioned why, are you sleeping on the furniture? Do you want me to help you to your room? They ask for room key. No room key, not on guest list. End up in cruise ship brink for duration. Put him on the brink. Next question. Redditors who stood 2 centimeters next to the lamppost in their nearest bus stop. How did you feel about the small abdominal pain and the lower part of your belly button? While a cat with black, orange and white fur coat walked in front of you. Sir, this is a Wendy's. You seem like just the kind of person we need around here. How about we make you night manager? I don't know if this counts, but my dad got locked in a toilet cubicle on a ferry to France, and it took several people to find him. The toilet was right out of the way and you couldn't hear him yelling even right outside in the corridor, because the doors were so massive. I guess he could have gone immediately back to England? Could have become a ship toilet hermit. This happened to me on a boat in Malta. I went to pee on the only toilet on board in the basement of the boat as the boat docked for a 4 hour stop. I legitimately thought I might die. It was so hot I thought I might suffocate. Finally some guy found me 15 minutes after I was screaming and pounding on the door. He let me out and then laughed about it to his friends. Sort of happened with my husband too. He used to work as a shipping agent and the crew didn't realize he was still on board the tanker until he went up to the main deck. They had already set sail for South America from the UK but thankfully were able to get him back to land on the pilot's boat. Is there something about bathroom doors on boats that the non-seafaring folk aren't aware of? Are the doors like airplane seat belts or something where they work counterintuitively to what we're used to? Right? I'm legitimately afraid to pee on any watercraft. I will go over the side door not at all. As someone who charters a boat at least once a year I have to say that your fears are not in the slightest bit unreasonable. Boat toilets are like printers. Angry obstreperous crap slinging printers. Now that's a word I haven't encountered in the wild in a long freaking time. I want to form a band, just so I can call it ship toilet hermits. Head hermits. Hermits of the head. I'm sure something similar has happened many times on the ferry between Helsinki and Tallinn. The ferry company even offers a 6 hour mini cruise where you board the ship in Helsinki, travel to Tallinn, and then stay on board for the return journey to Helsinki. We went on one of those for our company Christmas party a couple of years ago. When the ship arrived in Tallinn, the personnel on the ship didn't check in any way to make sure that people who stayed on the ship were supposed to be there. A drunk passenger could very easily forget to get off the ship and end up going along for the ride back to Helsinki. I've taken the booze cruise from Helsinki to Tallinn once. This was in 2002, before Estonia joined the EU. There was trashy cabaret style entertainment in Finnish and karaoke, and large amounts of cheap tax free beer. I definitely don't remember the bar closing, or being urged to leave when we docked. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe for daily reddit videos. Used to be in the USCG we had this happen a few times in Miami they were all escorted off the ship typically the police handled the situation. But if a stowaway was discovered, while still in the 3 to 12 mile range, we would render assistance once they were apprehended by the onboard law enforcement. The problem here is, that you only know about the unsuccessful stowaways, not the ones that managed to pull it off. Also, is keel hauling still an acceptable punishment for stowing away? Cruise ships are rather large. I'm not sure it's possible to survive a keel haul in from one of them. But I like the cut of your jib. Edit. 
since there seems to be a point of contention on the purpose of keel hauling. The process is described by the British in the archived Universal Dictionary of the Marine from 1780 as plunging the delinquent repeatedly under the ship's bottom on one side and hoisting him up on the other after having passed under the keel. But it also says that the culprit is allowed sufficient intervals to recover the sense of pain, of which indeed he is frequently deprived during the operation, indicating that the ultimate goal of the punishment isn't death. It's not like you were very likely to survive it anyway. You were basically expected to die. Keel hauling is insane. Apparently they would tie rope to the accused and pull him under the boat from one side to the other, scraping the heck out of them with barnacles and half drowning them. That is putting it lightly. Yeah. Barnacles are basically like a giant cheese grater. There's on board law enforcement, cram a couple hundred people into a tight environment. Of course you need some form of law enforcement present. You get marshals on planes too after all. Makes sense. I've just never heard of any cruise ship incidents with onboard popo. They have jail cells too. Edit. Appears they may be called brigs. And morgues. Well old people cruising away their life savings. Until they drop dead. Gotta have some place to stash them. When they kick it. Burial at sea. And have the body wash up on some beach in Mallorca. Been doing this for a couple of years now. They slapped a name tag on me. And now I work here. Hope they also took your bank account and post a monthly salary in there. Then in 20 to 30 years you walk out like it never even happened. Then after 60 to 70 years you just die like normal people and everyone will forget this story. Boarded for a trip from Southampton to Queenstown. Stayed on to get to New York. All was good, until we hit a dang iceberg. Been 107 years and still haven't docked. Freaking sucks, man. At least the water is heating up finally though. Swimming pools are full of salt water though. Better call the maintenance guys. Also, there is a leak in my cabin. And DiCaprio keeps floating into my room unannounced. Very rude. Late to the party, but I can chime in and further add proof if needed. I worked for Carnival for 5 years, specifically in debarkation. Additionally, I worked for Disney Cruise Line and Princess Cruise Line. Here's what happens, we give you a card upon check-in, and that card is scanned the minute you step on board. Additionally, it is scanned when you leave the ship for either complete debarkation or excursions. At the end of your cruise, debarkation starts around 7am. Come 10am we receive a list of people who have not yet had their card scanned. It's impossible to get off the boat without getting your card scanned, unless you jump into the water, haha. <laughs> Then a man and begins to get you guys off the ship, so we can put a new 2200 to 2600 people on it. We do not start boarding new passengers until every card from the previous voyage has been scanned. In my experience, nobody ever waits and tries to hide. If you do take a cruise, book a flight that's a little bit later in the morning and go with the latest checkout time you can. So many people aim for debarking around 7 o'clock to 9 a.m. Literally over 1700 people will be waiting in lines that'll take well over an hour to get out of. Instead of waiting in line for the hour, stay on board and eat some breakfast, take some last minute photos, and then when your time comes just leave, go through customs, and be on your merry way. I'm the one stop redditor for all cruising tips, haha. <laughs> this sounds US specific though. Here in Sweden there are some really low class party cruises on the Baltic Sea, called the Freak Boats, where they don't scan anyone. And I'd guess there are all different levels in the world in between up to the luxury stuff. So not all cruises scan people. That is the best possible name I could imagine. I know where I'm planning my next cruise. Stockholm to Helsinki. A+. A little different, I was going through a really hard bout with depression in 2012 and really had nothing going on in life besides an overpass job at a gym. My parents decided to do a family cruise in March as our Christmas present. I was actually planning on saying goodbye to my family at the end of the trip and just getting off at the last island and not getting back on. Then I found out the cruise company would alert local authorities that I didn't get back on. I wanted to just dial and skip for a while instead of backpacking through Europe to do some thinking and adventuring. I didn't want to end up in some crappy Caribbean jail. It is right they don't just leave without passengers as they could be lost and stuck. 
what happens if they find you and you don't want to get back on board I have no idea but can't think what you would go to jail for. You'd be all on your own though if you couldn't get home. Cruises leave without passengers all the time. Their terminology is actually, the boat didn't leave you, you left us. They will let the authorities know you stuck around but usually a passport gives you at least a 90 day visa, so for the immediate future you're just stuck with no plan to get home. It's usually people who got a little too adventurous or too drunk on their shore excursion. Or you get peer runners who make the boat just in time, or sometimes don't make it, but it's a huge genre on cruise chat boards. I'm getting ready to go on a cruise next week, and was watching a bunch of peer runner videos last night craps hilarious, although I was actually a peer runner on my first ever cruise. Now I make sure I'm back on board way before last call.